Oh, okay. Give like a little old school look. <laughs> Well, hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Kyra Rashawn. Today's video is brought to you by Jada Collection. They sent me another unit to review for you guys. Now, one of two things, it is Wigmas, so make sure you check out the pinned comment down below to see what the giveaway is today. And it's also Sip and Slay, okay? I got that drink in my cup. It's tea. And I'm sipping it up on me. <laughs> But hopefully your girl is better by next Friday so I can get a little drinky drink. I, I, I need wine. I, I really do. <laughs> but anyway, before we get into this install, the specs, and what I think about this unit straight out the pack, make sure if you're new to the channel, you go ahead and subscribe and smash that notification bell so you don't miss anything else coming up. Also, give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this in the future. Let's go. Okay, so like I said, this unit comes to us from Janet Collection. So this is Janet Collection Linen. I got her in the color 1B. This is what her card is looking like. She's looking real cute on the pack. It's giving side part and middle parts. It has a 13 by six lace frontal and elastic band and it also comes in some special colors so if you want to check those out you can let's go ahead and get this wig styled up because i got a burst of energy and while i'm feeling good i want to go ahead and get the looks <laughs> now y'all need to go go sit down okay you're not going outside right now on dogs you hear me tapping across my on floor sit down Ooh, i got the one b i feel like i should have got a um a number two, because this is really dark. I got the little curly doobop going on. I like that. The curls are the curls are sitting. I know I'm gonna have to kind of brush them and tame them because I can already tell based on how I was looking, how they clump together. It comes out the pack on the side part. It's the right side part. I'm about to say, come on, come on, Janet. <laughs> and the hairline's looking pretty good too. So you know, that's good. The lace is ashy, so I will need to tint that. But this should be a fairly easy install. I'm gonna try to install her glueless with some mousse. I I don't think I've ever used mousse on my um, my synthetic wig, so we're gonna try it on this one and see how she works out. I'm gonna use my Mocha 360 powder to tint my lace. This is by Maybelline Fit Me. I haven't done this in a while. I feel brand new. <laughs> but this lace definitely needs some tinting. Let me move my tea out the way. Hold up, let me get a little sip. And I just said I was putting mousse on this unit. It's gonna take it off. We'll fix it. <laughs> All right, so let me use, um, oh, wait a minute. The elastic band on this joint is adjustable. Okay, Janet. Let's see if she big hair friendly though. Cause she feeling a little snug in my hand. So I'm taking off the adjustable straps in the back, but I'm gonna keep the elastic band on the third hook. Ooh wee, come on, come on. Looking a little churchy, but it feels really good. So I think I can work with this. The hair is in the front. I think they're trying to go for like those fluffy edges. You know, we'll see what's happening when I um when I style it. That parting space is really deep though, but I will need to go in and fix this. That part is just not, um. It's not sitting right on my head. But we'll worry about all that in a second. Let me just pin this up so I can cut these ear tabs off. The hairline, even though it is pre-plucked, it's still a little bit too straight around. So I'm gonna go in and just pull some of this hair out right here in the front. When it comes to synthetic wigs, you gotta, you gotta put a little bit more you know, force in your pulling. So just be, be careful so you don't bust a hole in this joint. I mean, I could also go in with my tweezers. Let's see if those, that'll work. That may be a little bit easier. Jack it up some of that hairline a bit. Use my brush. Get that hair out of there. Oh, okay, Shirley. <laughs> oh, okay. Give like a little old school look. <laughs> I'm excited. Let me get this, let me get this lace off really quick. I'm gonna do me an up style too. Y'all know I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I can't deny it. So now Ruby moves around the hairline. Let's see if she, let's see if she works. How it, uh oh, look at me wasting product. Let's see if she works how I need her to. Swirl it in and get a wrap. Wrap her down like so. I'm gonna go ahead and do my makeup and then we'll come back and see, you know, see what she's working with. Okay, little Richard. <laughs> okay, hold up. I get my throat together. Let's take off. The band, so you can see what we ow, see what we working with. I feel like she is cute and is <laughs> definitely needs some tinting. So let me get my contour, excess contour around the hairline. I would say this unit is big head friendly. However, it does cut back on the sides like this, so it's feeling really nice on my head. But I don't have like you know heavy edges or you know sideburns on my wig. Let's see if I can move it forward just a little bit. That down. Oh what? And my <laughs> this is why I wear glasses, y'all, because I can't see. 
Y'all saw I didn't cut the baby hairs or whatever they had on here, those big, you know, the shorter curls in the front. The way they're looking, they're flowing like the fluffy looking baby hairs. And I actually like that. I like my hairline to be kind of swished around. Those who can't swoop, we swish. So I switched the hairs around my hairline for that natural look. But let me take off this, take off my clip. So I can see how I'm gonna wear this unit. When I put all the hair down, I can definitely see that, that lace. I will need to use a little bit more of my contour. All right, we'll leave it like that for now. Do I want a side part or do I want a middle part? I don't really know what I want. Let me just comb it all for it like this. I am getting some tangles towards the ends, but you know, nothing I can't handle. All right, I'm gonna bring it back like so. Oop. It's a little too close right here. Let me cut it back a little bit. There we go, there we go. There's a little bit too much lace left on my wig. That's what's creating that shadow that I don't want. If you have too much lace left on your wig, it'll create a really heavy shadow around your hairline. So cut it back as far as you can get it without cutting into the hairline. I wanna relax the curls just a little bit. So I'm gonna use my blow dryer brush on high heat and just kind of press through it really quick and see if that helps. I tightened the wig down, I put the straps back on the back, and I put the um, elastic band on the second hook now, because I actually had a little bit more room in my wig. I really don't want to spray her down, but I feel like she may look better sprayed down. So let's just, let's just see if my intuition is right. Okay, I'm gonna put my glasses on so I can see what I'm working with. Yep, looks better already. Let's just do some right here on the top of the lace. All right, brush my curls out like so. Shake it out. Down, up, down, and up. Here we go. You know you gotta move the curls a little bit to get it how you want it. Brush that down like this. Okay, and I think we are done with the look. Okay, so did we get her together or did we get her together? I ain't gonna hold you, I was a little worried there in the middle, but you know, I still had a little razzle dazzle in me, so you know. <laughs> if you are all tapped out on human hair wigs and you wanna try something a little bit more, you know, lower in the budget, this one may be the one for you. It basically comes with all the goodies that you get on a human hair wig, it's just synthetic. And it's only $45. $45, okay, come, come on, come on. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta give the pockets a break, okay? And this is the break they may be waiting for. I know them debit cards is cussing y'all out right now, but. <laughs> Old Janet actually gave us a lot for this joint, okay? The hairline, the parting space, the adjustable elastic band, the blendable lace, I mean, wait a minute. <laughs> the lace is blendable, you just gotta use a lot of products. So, you know, be mindful of that. It's giving me like a fresh roller set look, you know, when you first get it done and then you wanna go out the house. Yeah, that's kind of what it's looking like. It's also giving me kind of like an old school feel as well. How the short layers are up in here and then kind of flows out. Can I do an up style with this? Let's see, get all the, all the curls up. Like this. There's some short pieces in the back so you can do an up style. I don't really, <laughs> I don't really care for that too much, but it's workable if you wanna do it like that. Okay. I just put the hairband on real quick and threw it up in a ponytail, a little, little bow like that. That's it, nothing crazy. All right, play with it a little bit. The hairband is hiding the, um, the back of the wig, so you know, that's good. Push it all up. Bring out some of the hair, break up the hairline. These are my sideburns right here because I told y'all the wig is too short on my sides. But my glasses and the headband is hiding most of that. So, cool for me. Wig is laid. Ponytail is slayed, baby. I got the bars. <laughs> I didn't put my ears back though. They were kind of boop. <laughs> Okay, y'all, but she cute too. Okay, okay. But you know, y'all tell me down below what you think about this one, okay? I'm about to go see Barbara. <laughs> we got some things to discuss. <laughs>
But that's all I got for you guys today. Shout out one more time to Janet Collection for sending me this unit. I really appreciate it. I will put a link for this unit down below so if you guys wanna check it out, you can. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Also smash that notification bell so you don't miss anything else coming up. I love you guys so much and I will see you next time. Bye.